Hey there, humans. I am pleased to announce that after a lot of back and forth with my wife, I have finally convinced her to allow me to buy the Meta Ray-Ban glasses. Now, before I give you a, a quick, honest review, I wanna go over some of the features of the Meta Ray-Ban glasses, if you aren't really familiar with those, as well as some of the pros and the cons that I've seen just in the last couple days that I've worn them. And just like all my other videos, if you wanna know more, hit that subscribe button and check out the description below for all the gear that I use for my videos and podcast. Okay, so first off, let's go over the features. Now, if you don't know, you can actually go online or just visit the closest Ray-Ban store, which I did. That was pretty convenient. Now, as far as the technology in the glasses, you can go ahead and Google this stuff, but the goal ultimately of these meta glasses is to give us an AR or augmented reality, different look into having smart devices. So for example, if you wanted to look at a famous piece of art, you can ask Meta, what am I looking at? And it will actually tell you the piece of art. It's not there yet, but what is there is Meta AI itself, which is kind of like an Alexa for your face. It's a lot more convenient than whipping out your phone and asking Siri for some help. You could simply say, hey Meta, what's the weather like today? Today the weather starts with sunny skies and a high of 64 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 52 degrees Fahrenheit. So pretty cool. Now, one of the standout features for me, at least, um, as someone who has glasses on a daily basis, prescription glasses, is the sleek and stylish design of these smart glasses. Now, there's been some other smart glasses over the years that we've heard about or have attempted to hit the market, but Ray-Ban is Ray-Ban. I mean, they look like Ray-Ban glasses. And it's the exact same weight and uh, feel as you would expect from your Ray-Ban glasses. They're a little bit heavier. After wearing them for a couple days, I don't even tell the difference. Now, another great feature, if obviously you don't know, which is probably the biggest feature, is they come with a built-in camera. It's actually located right here. And you can capture photos and videos from your perspective. So this is perfect for vlogging or maybe even documenting experiences. Or if you know, you're know you a content creator like I am, you can use this to give a look at your entire setup. And I just love this because of the wide angle view. It's very GoPro-esque. Now, another great feature, which I haven't really played around with too much, is you can actually go back and forth on live streaming platforms like Instagram and Facebook. So if I'm going live on my Instagram from my phone, I could simply ask Meta, to go live on the glasses and it will switch seamlessly from my phone to the glasses. And that to me is pretty impressive. Uh, again, I haven't played around with it. I do plan to, and potentially I might do an entire video on that. Now, what are the pros of these glasses? Well, whenever they actually update the AR software on this, it's gonna be an experience I think that's truly immersive and unlike anything we've seen. So I'm not really looking forward to it too much because I know there's gonna be a lot of bugs that uh, they need to work out. But overall, I just think the concept of that is unbelievable. The idea, I think, just as a creator, having these different devices, whether it's a digital camera, a smartphone, sometimes is a bit of a challenge, especially if you want that POV, that very trendy, fun perspective shot that a lot of us usually use our cameras or our digital cameras for. This just gives me a, a very fast and effective way to get that perspective. And best part is, you can't even tell. Now, another great pro, again, like we talked about, is just the sleek design. Especially for me, I mean, they look like my normal prescription glasses, and they are. They're completely customizable with your prescription, and I decided to upgrade and do the blue light uh, and also transitional lenses. I'm on the computer all the time, so that blue light is really gonna help me out to protect me from my devices. But also, too, if I just wanna go outside, these turn into Ray-Ban sunglasses, and they look exactly like Ray-Ban sunglasses. Another pro is the built-in camera. Now, this thing is a game changer if you're a content creator or if you just want to vlog a day in the life. It allows you to capture moments and really share them uh, with your audience uh, much faster, whether you go live or if you just want to save it to your camera roll. There's a really cool built-in feature on the app. Now, another good pro is the quality of the video is actually really good. Same thing with the photos. I mean, even though the specs, I'll leave them here on the screen, they're not exactly what you would expect from your iPhone. So I'm not really disappointed in it, but it's, again, it kind of has that GoPro feel, so I didn't really expect 4K. What's unfortunate though, is that they decide to upgrade that. To my knowledge, you won't be able to upgrade that via software. You would have to get new glasses. So, but at the end of the day, if you're gonna be posting this on social media, 1080p is exactly what it's gonna convert to anyway. You do need some good lighting though 
because it's not the best at night. Leads me to the cons. So one drawback that I found with these Meta Ray-Ban glasses is the price. And while that's not really a secret by any means, we all kind of knew this was expensive, but you know, as advertised, it starts off at $299. You're thinking to yourself, that's cheaper than a phone. That's not bad. But if you're like me, where I'm using these as prescription, I had to pay a little bit extra to get the blue light, the transitional, and of course, put my prescription in there. So depending on your insurance, you might be able to get some discounts and some of that covered. I mean, I spent about 500 bucks. That was a heavy investment. Again, the reason why I really wanted to do is to give these unique shots and I create content on a daily basis for um, my myself and a lot of brands. So I looked at this like an investment, like a good microphone. It's going to be worth it in the end because it's going to give me better content. Another con, which is probably the biggest that I've noticed just in the last couple of days is the battery life. But you know, I started work uh, today, for example, at 8am and I had to charge them around 2pm. They were at about 10%. So again, not horrible, but if you do create content, which that's what I was doing, I was using them all day. So I guess it's not too, too bad. There is a button on the left that you can actually turn off the device and it'll disconnect from everything and it'll conserve the battery. So um, if you're like me that just use these as normal glasses, uh, I don't, I'm not going to be creating content all the time. So I guess that's a pretty cool positive. Overall, I mean, the battery life is... Uh, it sucks. Okay, so all in all review. These Meta Ray-Ban glasses, I mean, they're cutting edge. They're a piece of technology that's eventually going to bring that augmented reality to our daily lives in a very fun and unique way, I think, that's going to look stylish and cool. And it's not going to be like the crazy Apple VR goggles. You know, of course, that's VR, not AR. But if you want that immersive experience, as long as they continue to deliver what they're promising. For me, I think it was a cool investment. I'm really excited about using them and getting some different different shots and perspectives. However, again, like I mentioned, the cons, the battery life is a bit of a challenge, and I think they need to work on some of the things with the app and the software as a whole. But overall, I really enjoy these. I think if you are a content creator and you just like the quality and the look of Ray-Bans, this is just one of the many styles that they have for the Meta Smart Classes. So I, I enjoy them. I I'd love to know what you guys think. So if you do have some of these shades, leave those questions and comments down below. Um, and what do you think? I mean, are they worth it? And as always, if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and maybe you want to check out some other videos there's some really cool ones here and uh there's a cool one right there i think too so yeah i appreciate you guys watching the video and until next time we will see you later peace